Considering the fishing industry accounts for 350 million jobs globally, the blue economy holds enormous wealth. Are the gathering in Lagos maritime industry leaders deliberated on the necessity of harvesting these gains? If Unaya is a report. Factors suggesting that fossil fuels will decline. This platform says there is need for a paradigm shift so that jobs can be created and the ecosystem preserved. Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency believes both the Cabotage Vessel Financing Fund and the Modular Floating Dock acquired in 2018 are government-provided vehicles to harness the blue economy. We have to develop infrastructure, and those infrastructures include the ship itself, the maritime transport. For instance, the agency now looks at the sufferings around Apafa Axis. We try to monopolize, monopolize the use of own road transportation. Apologies to the professors in road transportation. I think the professors in water transportation and road transportation must come up with the policies that can stimulate the utilization of water in terms of ferry and other things like that, so that the blue economy also can strive. The collaboration which bettered the Institute of Maritime Studies at the University of Lagos is not just to address the chronic shortage of personnel in the industry. It is also to supply research-based information required to explore in the blue economy. One thing that the university is involved with is manpower development, that's one. The second part is aquaculture that we have been working on. We're also looking towards marine engineering, which we have not really been into, but that's an area we're working on. And we have the transportation area, so we're planning to expand. But these are things that take a little while, but they are areas that we think we, we have some advantage. To translate policy and infrastructure into visible results, the federal government is prioritizing specific areas of intervention that will enhance the sector's contribution to the nation's GDP. The government will do everything that will make it easy for ship owners to get more ships so that we can continue to grow our blue economy. It makes sense for any responsible government to do that. Once it gets too expensive, then it becomes a problem and to our economy. All that is required, according to key players, is for more Nigerians to venture into these areas to become active participants in the blue economy. Ifunanya Eze. TVC News, Lagos.